Image copyright PA image caption Noel Edmonds is seeking compensation of up to 60 million pounds of boss money money money, Eurythmics Would I Lie to You and Destiny's Child Survivor. Pretty innocuous pop songs you may think, but not for Noel Edmonds, who has played them to have a go at Lloyd's Bank Group on his new radio station. The station, called Positively Noel, also encourages Lloyd's employees to call his whistleblowing hotline. Noel recently secured funding to sue Lloyd's after falling victim to a multi-million pound fraud a decade ago. Image caption Edmonds has enjoyed huge TV success with the likes of Noel's House Party. Other tracks aired on the station include Lunch Money, Lewis Bills and Don't Give Up from Kate Bush and Peter Gabriel. The music is interspersed with stories from callers about similar problems encountered with banks. The Deal or No Deal star also asks for anyone who has had a similar experience to him to call into the show. In an interview on the station, Noel said, I went to a very dark place and failed to take my own life. The bank destroyed my livelihood. He has spoken about his suicide attempt before. Edmonds also revealed on Positively Noel that three people had emailed him recently to say they had been victims of similar frauds and had had suicidal thoughts. He said, I ring each of them about three times a week just to check they're okay. Empowering everyone the station also broadcasts mock-ups of Lloyd's adverts using the same music they use for their real adverts but this time with a voiceover saying, Lloyd's Bank don't care, we're here to make people suffer. Noel has a number of radio stations as part of his Positivity Radio World brand, including Positively Meditation, Positively Plants, Positively South End and Positively 90s. On the radio's website, Noel states, We wish to promote greater respect, tolerance and compassion by empowering everyone, wherever they are in the world, to enjoy a more fulfilled and positive lifestyle. The presenter is seeking compensation of up to £60 million over a scam involving staff at the Reading branch of HBOS, which was subsequently bought by Lloyd's. Lloyd's disputes his claim that the fraud caused his business to collapse. The former Deal or No Deal presenter is pursuing the banking giant over losses he claims he suffered when his former business Unique Group was destroyed. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter at BBC Ents, or on Instagram at BBC News Ents. If you have a story suggestion email entertainment.news at bbc.co.uk.